Welcome painters and decorators of the internet. It's Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator, back with another riveting review. Double R's, riveting review. What I'm going to do, quick review. I've tried the new Durox, well I say new, I think it's been out best part of the year, Heritage Range. And it's the um, Velvet Mat, never used it before. Now I'll tell you what, all those that don't want to sit through a 15 minute video of Phil Beckwith talking a load of dribble about paint, I'm going to tell you, this is brilliant stuff. Go and try it if you've not tried it, brilliant stuff. All those of you that want to listen to a little bit more about the paint, I'll see you in about 15 seconds. Right, now I'm back with you. All those that didn't want to watch about how good this paint is, they've got the conclusion at the beginning. So yeah, this is the first time I've actually used this paint. Velvet Matte. I must say, really impressed. Now, as a firm, we've not used Duolx paint for a good oh, five, six, seven, eight years because we've never been happy about the flashing. I want to say flashing, pitch framing, whatever you want to call it. Use a vinyl matte emulsion. And what happens, you use your roller, you use your brush, you can see where you've cut in round walls, you can see where the roller marks are if you look across the ceiling. I've spoke about this before, but this product, pleasantly surprised. I have to say, I didn't expect too much. I, I'm one of these that, if I see the picture of a dog on a tin of Dulux, I always think this is a retail tin of paint, not a trade paint. Well, I've used it on this job, and you can see behind me, it's that marine blue, I think it's called. Yeah, I think it's called Maritime Teal. Get it right, I've been doing it. Maritime Teal. Teal. Maritime Teal. <laughs> uh, that's quite a dark colour. Now, this room was all bare plaster. It was wash coated. A thin coat of um, emulsion. I actually used Ticarilla Nova 2. Really thin down, wash coated everything, and the ceilings were actually finished in Nova 2. But for the walls, the customer had picked a colour and it was off the Heritage, Dulux Heritage range. Now, I was quite pleased that she picked that because it was an opportunity for me to actually practice. And I'll say practice, or shall we just call it, have a go with it. Because at the painting and decorating show, um, we were talking about this um, velvet mat and how good it was. So we've got two tins, and let's talk about price. This is about five litre tin of mixed colour. About 56, 57 pounds, including the VAT. That's the retail price. Obviously, if you're in the trade, you get it a little bit cheaper. So this is a mixed tin of paint, about 56 quid. How good was it? It was very good. For a dark colour, and this is the dark, and it's off a medium base, and you can see the colour behind me, can't you? Maritime teal. That colour over a white wash coat, nearly, and I'll say nearly, there's some people that would have done, went for one coat. You're looking at me shocked, went for one coat. I was looking at it shocked, because I've used Ticarilla, I've used other brands, and you struggle with these dark colours. Even though it's a dark colour, you'd think they'd cover for one, and sometimes they don't. So, two coats, it was spot on. Now, if this was in another brand, and I don't want to mention any too many names, you could be one coat doesn't look covered, two coats you're looking at it and you're thinking does it look a bit grinny around the edges, and when I say grinny around the edges, I mean it looks like you can still see through it, it's grinning. Some paints, two coats, on a dark colour, still struggle. Now, that means a third coat, doesn't it? Third coat costs you money, it costs you money in materials, it costs you money on time. So, so you can see me a bit better. This was almost covered for one coat. I'm not a one coat wonder. It had two coats and it covered lovely. So let's talk about it. What was good about it? No flashing. I couldn't see any brush marks, particularly on the dark colour. I couldn't see any brush marks. I couldn't see any roller marks. There's no picture framing around the edges, if we come to there, where it goes up against the walnut 
what's it called? Pale Walnut, two colours, feature wall, rest of it's in Walnut Pale. Is it Walnut Pale? Pale Walnut. So anyway, no brush marks, it went on like velvet. If I say it went on like velvet, if any of you have used Farron Ball Estate Emulsion, you know how silky that feels when you're applying it. It feels quite nice to apply. This felt exactly the same. It went on smooth, it went on velvety, hence the name Velvet Matte. I can't reiterate enough, no flashing, no picture framing. Even if you just have to touch up in a corner or around a, a plug socket where it had just broke away with, you know, screwing it back on. Touched up, didn't show anything. Really impressed. The other good thing about it was, you know when you sometimes put paints on, it feels gritty. There was none of that grittiness. It literally felt, when you were brushing it on and rolling it, a smooth paint. Whereas some paints, you do say to yourself, it's a little bit sandy, gritty, that might be because it's got that um, hard wearingness to it, I don't know, sometimes it feels like it's a cheap paint if it's like that, but this, it went on smooth, it went on silky, it went on like velvet, really really smooth, so dead impressed with that, dead impressed with it because it actually was um, a paint that doesn't flash and I'm really surprised because Dulux, over the years we've not used Dulux because of that flashing. I look around this room and we've just finished today, I look around the room, I can't see any brush marks and I keep going about the brush marks but that's the big pet hate with painters and decorators, professional painters and decorators is what a paint's like and if it's flashing it's normally because it's cheap or not a very good paint, this is not that. So if anybody's not tried it yet, go and try it. You're going to say to me Phil, but what's the colours like? You can have it mixed up in anything, can't you, if you're going to a Dulux, but here's the colour card. It's a lovely colour card. It's got a lovely range of colours. Can you see those? A little bit on the lines of Farron Ball sorts of colours. A muted palette, should we call it? Just nice, soft, varying colours. Go into your deeps and your reds if you need feature walls, but as its own colour card without going off the main palettes or bitchy standard colours that Dulux would be able to match uh, and mix up for these. Its own colour card, it's a lovely finish. You can also, you get it in velvet matte and you can also get it in an eggshell. So I've only used this velvet matte which is a wall stroke ceiling paint. So I'm going to put it out to you. Is this the best paint for walls on the market today? Because I must say, I think it possibly is. And as I want to coin a phrase, if Carlsberg made paint, would this be the paint that they'd make? On that thought, I'm gonna love and leave you. 10 minutes is ample for me talking and waffling on about paint. But this paint, if you've not tried it, I'm very impressed. Go and get some. Dark colours, covered for two, it nearly covered for one. The lighter colour, again, brilliant for coverage on one. Two coats, not a problem. And that was over bare plaster that had wash coated. And I did use Ticaril and over two for wash coating, thin down. I know I'd like to use Optima Primer, but when they've got no Optima Primer, you've got to look at alternatives. And this was the alternative. The Nova 2. So we're going to call it a day. You see I've got my sprayer there. Guess how I applied the wash coat. See you on the next one. Press the bell, like, subscribe, give us some comments. Best paint on the market? You decide. I've decided. Brilliant and we'll use it again. See you on the next one. Over and out.